In this video, we'll discuss why a photo mode in Halo Infinite would be absolutely huge for the community side of features and a bit of a tutorial on how you can take awesome screenshots within the MCC right now. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So an ever-growing part of gaming is the social side of things. Not necessarily like the social game modes like for Halo, we're talking about Griff Ball or SWAT or just anything like that. We're talking about like the social media side of things and the way people can share content with each other. Xbox even recognizes that this is a huge opportunity they can jump on. That's why there is a share button on the controller itself of the Xbox Series X because they know that being able to share content and people's experiences with games is absolutely massive to the success of those games. And one of those things I think does a great job of having shareable content that's easy to make is a photo mode. And if Halo Infinite implements that, what does that mean? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple examples of what you can do with Halo and photo mode stuff right now on the MCC, as well as what other games are doing with photo modes. So if you guys like these kind of discussion videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. A big thing that's really been kind of dwindled down a little bit in the last few years is people sharing their content that they do with the game of Halo. We didn't really get a whole lot of that with Halo 5. We got a little bit of it, especially through the Forge creation side of things. But when it comes to like sharing various screenshots or creating different things within the game or some interesting things that we had all the time during Halo 3, that didn't really come around a whole lot. And also with Halo 4, it didn't really happen that much either. I mean, it certainly was there, but not as prominent as it was back then. Halo Infinite set itself up to be the most accessible Halo game ever. And one thing that really helps people get interacted with a game is having a sense of community and people sharing experiences with their game. And one of the best ways and easiest ways to do that is to have a photo mode within the game. If you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to photo mode, I'm sure a lot of console players haven't really had a chance to experience this. Essentially, it's a way to detach the camera and take really awesome screenshots that you can't really do like in game. Yeah, we can do that already with theater mode with detaching the camera and going to specific moments, which is awesome. Yes, but there's a, certainly a lot more that can be done there. And I want to showcase you right now within the MCC on PC, what you can do and what the potential of a photo mode is. So here's a moment within playing H2A that I took a segment of. This is just for examples, but if I open up NVIDIA photo mode, this comes with every NVIDIA graphics card right here. I have a different choice of like saving HDRs. I can put a grid on so I can kind of properly line up my characters right there. We also have a filter option right here, which is super huge. You can change the brightness and contrast right here. So I can turn up the exposure, which is like the brightness, up the contrast up a little bit there. Highlights can go up a little bit. Shadows, I might have to bump up a little bit because it's a pretty dark image. We got the gamma right here, which is basically the overall brightness right there. We have coloring as well right here, which is a great job to kind of just showcase like what kind of tones you can have with this game. So if I turn up the intensity here, you can see I'm kind of going with like a reddish hue. I really like having like a bluish greenish hue, kind of like that. Going down the intensity a little bit. Really kind of changes the color palette of the game, doesn't it already? Temperature is kind of like how warm the picture is. I kind of like a little colder, like that. Vibrance, we can turn up the vibrance right there quite a bit. So I added a little details with reduce the sharpening, clarity, and uh, added some HDR toning and a little bit of bloom right there. Let's add in a vignette to kind of put some focus on what we're looking at over here. So don't want to be too intrusive, so like a 50% Vignette's pretty good. And now we can add in a depth of field which really gives your focus on what you want to look at right now. So we'll just kind of tweak this around a little bit. And here we added a little bit of depth of field so you can kind of see it gives you a much better focus on what's in front of you, but kind of adds a little blur in the background. So then it kind of gets a much more as cinematic kind of look to the whole thing. And as simple as that, we have a nice little screenshot that looks kind of nice. And here's a comparison right here. This is the original image. This is the image with the uh, filters all added on there. So you can kind of see the huge difference that happens when you have a chance to do some photo editing within Halo. So that's a photo mode that NVIDIA offers, but there are in-game photo modes that really offer a lot more in the way of features and can be a much more effective way to get some really cool screenshots and content that's really shareable and people can enjoy for themselves. And the newest game, Mass Effect Legendary Edition that came out, offers a photo mode in the game now that they brought into the game for this Legendary Edition. And it really showcases what is really possible with a photo mode. And even this one's even more bare bones to say like Cyberpunk has a photo mode as well. Okay, so here we are in the game Mass Effect 1. They just recently added in the Legendary Edition. They added in a photo mode right here. So I want to take a screenshot of like the squad right here. How about that? 
So we hit the escape key, go into photo mode here. This is where really you start to see some really cool options right here. So we go into free roam, you can in game, I didn't have to go to any extra modes or anything, just in game. I can detach the camera at any moment. And then I can just scroll around and just try to figure out something that's be giving me like a pretty cool screenshot. So how about like a nice little squad shot? That's not gonna be too shabby, right? Cool thing here, you can add like a tilt if you wanted to kind of make it a little more dynamic or something like that. Let's so say like I wanted to have a picture with like their guns up or something like that, right? Or I can just go exit out of photo mode, put the guns out, they'll have their guns out and everything as well. I'll uh, go into photo mode and then I'll go into free range. And then right here, yeah, like I can do like a cool little like tilt or something like that. Kind of give it a little bit more of a dynamic kind of feel to the whole thing as well. I can change the focal length so I can kind of zoom in and zoom out. They actually use like the actual terminology when it comes to the uh, camera lengths and size and stuff like that. I can change the blur. I have the distance of where the blur is and stuff like that as well. I can change all that kind of stuff. Get the blur distance as well. Just kind of like how we had previously. Got saturation, we can turn that up a little bit. We got brightness, we can turn it up. Got the contrast, we can kind of turn it up a little bit as well to get a little more dynamic co coloring in, in there. I do have a bunch of filters as well, but they're really just kind of like random stuff like this. I'm not really gonna use them a whole lot to be honest because I like just the way the game looks by itself. You can enable or disable vignette like I am right there, or I can enable it right there. You don't have any customization on it like you do with NVIDIA, but it's uh, just cool to see that it's in game. Then you can even hide players like this. You can hide everything on the map if you want, hide NPCs, hide vehicles and stuff like that. So you can actually click away, you can know, hide your party members, or you can hide a player or something like that. Just so then you can have like cool different like kind of perspectives that you'd want. Like if I wanted to hide my player, Boom, they're gone. So that's one thing that like an in-game photo mode has to offer. Let's hide the UI right here actually and take a nice little screenshot. So now you've seen the basics of the stuff that you can pull off with NVIDIA's photo mode and the cool stuff you can actually do within Mass Effect's photo mode. So that would be super awesome to see something like that within Halo Infinite, especially this campaign where the vistas and the visuals are gonna be in this game. People are gonna wanna be taking screenshots. People are gonna wanna share their experiences with Halo Infinite. The easiest and best way to do that is to offer a proper photo mode. I know you could do this probably within theater mode and they might even be thinking about that as well. But I think if you're doing it within the game, you can just pause, go into photo mode, take a screenshot, go right back in without having to leave your game. It's super convenient and makes the people want to use that feature a lot more than just like hopping over the theater mode to do the same thing. And while we're talking about screenshots, I do actually have an Instagram page, link in the description down below guys. I do post daily screenshots of what I take within Halo and just other experiences as well. So utilizing this photo mode, I'm able to take some really cool stuff that I think you guys would really like. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you missed any news or informational videos about Halo or been out of the loop of Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I can link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.